Hello, welcome to this quick video on how to install SAB NZBD on your Synology NAS. So in the past it used to be a real kerfuffle, you had to get like a bunch of Linux scripts, run them, make sure your permissions were okay, enable SSH, all that jazz. Now it's very simple, it's an easy to download package from the Sino community. So to do this, you log into your NAS via the IP at the top here in any browser, sign in. Mine's a bit slow, I've got the DS211J, it's kind of ancient, need to do an upgrade soon. Once you're in it, you want to go to your package center, wait for that to load, loading, and we'll just make sure we go to the settings up here under package center, and make sure you tick trust level once it loads. Loading. Holy moly. Yep. And Synology Inc. and Trusted Publishers. You want to also add a custom package source under package sources here. You want to click add, just give it a name and the package location, which I put in the description so you can just paste that in. All right, once that's done, you hit OK. You look down here in community, left hand pane. And have a look, and you'll see SAB NZBD. So I've already got it installed, but for you, we'll have install. Just click install, and away you go. All right, so just to follow on from this, if you find that you have issues with it starting, or perhaps the directory doesn't exist where it wants to install it, or you don't know where to install it, I'll show you how to get into the back end to just check a few things. So what you want to do is go to your control panel, just up there. Click on terminal and SNMP. Make sure you tick enable SSH and give it a port number. Hit apply and now you'll be able to connect to the NAS using an SSH client, for example, PuTTY. So I'd open up PuTTY SSH port 22 192.168.1.11 which matches the IP up here on the top left. Hit open. Connect with your admin user, admin, and then put in your password. And from here, you can make sure your directory exists. So most likely it wants to install to volume one. And in somewhere like downloads and like that. So you can make sure those exist. And from here, you can also edit permissions. Make sure all the, the user actually running SAB and Zambuti has has permissions to install and run. Otherwise, you might have issues. I won't go into this fully now because I just want to do a simple video. But if you have trouble, let me know. I'll show you how to fix the basic issues. All right. Hopes that was useful. Until next time. Bye.